breaking news now. We have new images tonight of the aftermath following two attacks on a market in Gaza. Of course, we're going to warn you these images are disturbing. We do think they are important to show. In the video that we are now going to roll, you can hear and see ambulances racing to the scene after the first attack. Then, seconds later, you're now watching the second attack. The journalist shooting this video was injured after the strike. He sustained serious shrapnel injuries to both his feet and his torso. To give you a sense of what happened to those around him, his assistant then picked up the camera and continued to shoot. John Vaz is out front tonight, live in Gaza City. John, um, that video is hard to watch, and when you think about the injuries that that person sustained, those around who probably lost their lives, that his assistant picked up that camera and kept filming, you've been on the scene of what's been happening there. What have you seen? Hey, Aaron, I'm having a little bit of trouble hearing you, but let's just talk about that video right now. Now, that was the scene earlier today in an area not far from the Gaza City. It's known as the Shajair area. You may have heard of it. That's an area which has been repeatedly hit by Israeli airstrikes, as well as ground operations for gets going on for about 23, 24 days now as this operation continues on. What that video shows is uh, what many witnesses have told us is that there were a number of strikes carried out by Israel in fairly quick succession. After that first strike, we're told by these witnesses that residents and ambulance crews rushed to that area. It's surrounded by warehouses and homes as well as shops. They came out to help the wounded try and evacuate them from the area, get them to hospital. And then as we've seen with that very graphic video, which is very graphic, I'm sure we haven't shown the worst of it, uh, there were uh, two more strikes and what we have seen with that video uh, it has been broadcast on Hamas television on Al-Aqsa TV and it has been graphic it shows victims who have lost limbs others who are covered in blood who are screaming for help it also shows dead bodies which have just been blown apart uh, Hamas officials say the death toll from that market attack stands at at least 17, more than 200 were wounded. We've also been told by Hamas officials that one reason why that marketplace was so crowded is because they thought that this four-hour humanitarian ceasefire, which Israel unilaterally announced, was still in place. Two and a half hours into that, there was pretty much no warning that Israel had decided it would respond to that repeated Hamas rocket fire. They warned that they would, they just didn't say when they were going to do it.